Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. Today is your girl's day off. Every other Monday, I get a regular day off. It's the way we work on our schedule at work. But y'all don't care about that. <laughs> Today, I'm about to get out my Jocelyn's Cabaret video. And the Cabaret was good. Let me tell you off top, it's still a little bit filler. It's still a little bit filler. We're still trying to get to know these ladies and it seems like next week it's gonna really pick up into the individual storylines now side note i just washed my hair i know it's it's about to look a furry mess and i didn't feel like putting makeup on for y'all today so <clears throat> you see me fresh face but let's jump into this video now before we jump into the video, go ahead and subscribe if you want to be a part of the Kiss My Cheeks family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick. Okay, now the cabaret, y'all. <clears throat> First, I wanted to side note, shout out to Jocelyn. I noticed she sprinkles little um, samples of her singles and her music throughout the episode. And I'm here for that, Jocelyn. Like, not every song... I vibe with but majority of the songs I vibe with and every week it seems like her theme song is something called <clears throat> sex drive I, I vibe with that one Jocelyn I like that so she's learning the game she's learning the game she's creating this show she's moaning these girls and by mono and <laughs> mono <laughs> I can't even say it right She's the new Mona. She's putting these girls out here, getting them to put their business in the street, getting them to fight and act the fool, and she just sitting back collecting the checks. I ain't mad at you, Jocelyn. And at the same time, you collecting the checks, you promoting your own music. Do your thing, girl. It's still a lot of titties and ass this week, too, y'all. It was still a lot of titties and ass. Now, we start right back in the locker room. They showing us the ending of the fight. Jocelyn looking at both sides of the girls like, damn, is this what I used to look like? Yes, yes, that's what you used to look like, Jocelyn, except for you had clothes on. <laughs> Jocelyn said, and okay, side note, if I curse throughout this video, that's because they curse. Like on the Zeus Network, you can do and say pretty much anything. So I'm just giving you a true review. Jocelyn is like... They breaking up the fight. And Jocelyn said, hold up. That was my motherfucking money. <laughs> she said, I told y'all bitches to get dressed. It's time to go up here and dance. <laughs> and it was just so hilarious how she said it. Because Daisy did just pick up a stack of money and throw it in Jay's face. And I didn't even realize that was Jocelyn's money. Like, who gave <laughs> Daisy permission to throw all that money? Because when Jocelyn came in there... You know, Lucky. I learned her name, Lucky. She's going to be the one that I like. She putting all the money in her bra. She like, remember, bitch, you said I'm homeless, so I'm picking up these ones. <laughs> it was just funny. It was just funny. <clears throat> so, now, Jocelyn got the girls. They getting dressed. Jocelyn's over it. Half the girls go up to the stage to get ready and dance. Daisy, Chastity, and Jay are still back in the locker room getting dressed and they continuously arguing jay daisy and chastity are still picking at jay calling her broke and saying that her thong look cheap and i'm like a thong is a thong now you the fools if y'all going out to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on the thong just so a man can stick some ones in it like y'all the fools I, i'm with jay why well, i'm about to go spend all this money on the thong it's a thong and i mean just because y'all tights have a little bit of glitter and diamonds stuck on them what they cost twenty dollars instead of ten <laughs> look to me i'm gonna tell you right now because i'm not they did a lot of arguing and I'm not going to dig deep down into every argument. The basis of every argument this episode was Daisy and Chastity. Next week, Jocelyn calls them bullies. They are. They bully Jay. They think that she's broke. They think that she's ugly. I think it's some underlying colorism in there and some the deediness in there when they don't have no right to. And so they bully and pick on Jay. And Lucky, Lucky and Jay, you know, they ain't no bitches, they ain't no punks. They gonna argue right back with you. And it just turns into this. 
And that's the meat of every argument. And, and I'm like Jocelyn, I'm over it. So if I say they arguing, that's what they were arguing about. Now they finally get all their asses up to the stage. Jocelyn said, it's time to make this money. It's time to make this money. Let me see what the fuck y'all working with. <laughs> <laughs> so now they play another one of Jocelyn's songs I wrote it down I said I like it. it's called Slay now I like that I might go out there and look for that song I like that one Jocelyn and now the girls hit the stage and as each, each one is giving their best twerk and whatever they doing on that stage they all getting a little bit of speeches in the confessional Lucky says she really wants to work with Jocelyn. She's tired of shaking her ass. She's tired of this strip club. She really wants to learn from Jocelyn and move her life on to another, another phase. Like, what can she get from this show to propel herself forward out of the strip club? I'm here for you in that, Lucky. That's, that's really what Jocelyn wants to do. <sighs> Daisy wants to help these girls get on her level because she is the bottom bitch and she just wants all of them to all be bottom bitches with her they say bottom bitch a lot throughout this episode again i still don't understand the term bottom bitch but i'm gonna roll with it now side note side note i did write a side note i said i'm confused i'm confused and this jay lucky y'all could read daisy so easily because like who want to be like you? Like, bitch, okay, you make $10,000 a night, but you giving all your money to Mr. Flowers, the pimp. So you a broke bitch, too, because the only reason you, you only get to have what Mr. Flowers let you have. So, um, Jay, Lucky, read that bitch. She ain't shit. I would not be jealous of anybody who makes $10,000 a night but has to give all their money to their man. But that's just me. That's just me. I ain't in that lifestyle, so I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I. I don't know. It's confusing to me. I feel like Daisy is the easiest one to read, but no one reads her because she the bottom bitch. Whatever. Jay and her thing. She over the mean girl shit. She over it, and she ready to just whoop they ass on sight every time. Every time they start, Jay here with it. Chastity says of course i want to work with jocelyn she the baddest bitch and she just says jocelyn is gonna bring in some high-end clientele she gonna bring in the man with the money and she here all for the money so whatever clout she can get off of tagging along with jocelyn chastity is here for it side note i saw jocelyn smoking blunts all up in the club and i said jocelyn I mean, Zeus will let you do whatever, I understand. But don't give Stevie no ammo. Right now, y'all in a good place, but he's still suing you for full custody. Don't give him any ammo. Like, smoke your blunts off screen. Just smoke your blunts off screen. Next, Sapphire just wants everybody to get together. I think Sapphire, she's not one of the main girls on the, you know, the promotional shots. So maybe she's just like a background girl. But to me, Sapphire is the one with the most sense next to Lucky. So... <laughs> At the end of everyone's emotional speeches, at the end of all this good ass shaking these girls think they doing, Jocelyn is like, that one shit. <laughs> she says, these girls need a lot to work. They need to go apologize to their mothers for even giving birth to them. And I was like, what does that mean? But I was just, just I can't do the Jocelyn accent, accent, but the way she said it, I was just hollering. I was laughing out loud. It was hilarious. And also, they say Cabaret 50,000 times in an episode. And so, I ain't going to say Cabaret as much as they say it. Okay, next, we done with the strip club. Strip club, Jocelyn over the girls. They can't even shake their ass the way she want them to shake their ass. So, she at home complaining about the girls to Ballistic. And he's in the kitchen juicing with his robe wide open. Big ass line on his stomach. I was expecting ballistic to be cut and you know everything but no sir i mean he's a nice looking man but it just wasn't what i was expecting for him to be just hanging out on camera with his robe all open but it could be a miami thing i don't know but they juicing and they talking about the girls and i said every time ballistic and jocelyn say cabaret in their scenes and they talk about this cabaret 
I said, these sound like rehearsed lines. It sounds like they're reading from a script. It's only when they get to start talking about genuine things that I can really see them talking about. Do I see their connection? Do I see their love for each other? And I really like them as a couple. So they talking about the cabaret. Jocelyn, I love when Jocelyn say this. She says, <laughs> she said, Daisy runs her motherfucking dick suckers too much. <laughs> Never heard nobody call people mouth like when people say they run their mouth too much. Jocelyn says they run their dick suckers too much. That is hilarious to me. I <laughs> every time she say it, I start cracking up. Now Jocelyn mad at Daisy because Jocelyn told Daisy, I guess Lucky used to live in the same building as Jocelyn and Ballistic, and Lucky's apartment caught on fire, and that's why everyone is calling her homeless. She's probably not homeless she's probably just living with friends because our house apartment caught on fire but Jocelyn told that to Daisy and now Daisy is throwing that in Lucky's face and Jocelyn was like I told you that in confidence why are you using that as ammo against this girl so Jocelyn is mad at Daisy about that and I'm assuming eventually she gonna have a conversation with her now <clears throat> they talking about you know, she over this. They not classy. They All they want to do is argue and fight. She thinking maybe I need to get some new girls. And I'm like, Jocelyn, please do. Please do. Keep Jay and Lucky because at least they open-minded to the cabaret. And um, they open-minded to working with other girls. But get rid of Daisy and um, Chastity because all they want to do is be mean girls. They going to get on my nerve. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be watching this because Daisy and Chastity get on my last nerve on the TV screen every time they come on the screen. I don't see any kind of vulnerable, emotional storyline from them. Maybe we'll eventually get to it. But for right now, you can cancel. At least cancel Daisy because Chastity just looked like a follower. She looked like she's going to follow behind Daisy's lead. Like If Daisy wasn't mean to them, maybe Chastity wouldn't be. But at least get rid of that bottom bitch, Daisy girl. But now, <laughs> now Jocelyn says, fuck them girls. Fuck what they talking about. Now she wants to have a threesome. <laughs> she's like, I know my man may be uncomfortable with having a threesome with me, but I like sucking on pussy. <laughs> I said, Jocelyn, Zeus Network lets you say anything. And I ain't mad at Jocelyn. We already know she's from Love and Hip Hop. She says she's bisexual. She's like sleeping with women. She likes having threesomes. This ain't nothing new. It's just the way that she says these things on TV that cracks me up. That's why I say she's just entertainment gold. Now, Ballistic is like, no. I don't want to have no threesome because you don't know how to act. He was like, I'm going to be fucking this girl too good. You're going to get jealous. And then you're going to want to beat the girl up. And I ain't trying to have you fight no girl while we having sex. And Jocelyn's like, yeah, I might do that. But she still want to have a threesome. They probably going to do it. <laughs> they probably going to do it. Now she's like, okay, fuck that threesome. When we going to get married? And now Ballistic talking about we can get married when we can get on a spaceship and get married. He want to get married in space. And Jocelyn, that's bullshit. And I agree with you, Jocelyn. That's bullshit. That's just a way for him to um, put it on pause and what they call it. I can't think of the word. But he just want to hold it out for as long as possible. I think, I can't really tell because when they were on Wendy, Wendy was, she was avoiding the question because Wendy was like she had on the engagement ring and a wedding band. So is she really married? I don't know. I don't really care. I like them together. If they're married, congratulations. If not, I assume eventually they will be. <sighs> so now the girls kind of do these two split screens. Jay, I mean scenes. Jay and Lucky broke their nails in the fight, you know, the stripper room fight. And they at the nail shop fixing their nails. All they doing this whole time is complaining about Daisy and Chastity, talking about the fight, talking about how they... You know, at least they talking like they have since. Like, if they would just leave us alone, we wouldn't fight. But because they always come up for us, we got to come for them. And they really just want to be in this cabaret. Okay, they, they seen one too much. Now, Daisy and Chastity are at Chastity's house <laughs> talking about the same thing. Except for they aren't talking about, like, 
I wish that they are just being mean girls. They are really being bullies. This is the scene where I really feel like they're being colorist because they're talking about, I guess, if a man come in and want that type of country bumpkin, then they can go be with Jay. And I'm like, what's country about Jay? Like, I don't know. It, it just, the whole, they whole spirit is just mean girlish. It's bullyish. They only talking about these girls' looks. They only talking about they not wearing these name brands. And I'm like, what name brands are y'all wearing? What is that, just the high end, the fashion over? Because I ain't seen no Gucci or Chanel on none of y'all. So, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. And then Jay was like, this bitch drive a Toyota. And I'm like, yeah, you talking about how much money people got. You ain't driving no baller ass car. Anyway, let's get, let's move along. Cause they just talking shit about Jay and Lucky. And then at the end of the conversation, they do the nastiest shit. Now I know I said Nene spitting at Kenya was the nastiest shit. And that is, so this is the nastiest shit. Number two. Daisy pulls her titty out <laughs> and starts squirting breast milk in in um Chastity's mouth because Chastity wants to fill on her titties and so she just pull it out and starts squirting breast milk in the mouth and now Chastity talking about oh Daisy's breast milk tastes so good and I'm like y'all some nasty bitches y'all some nasty bitches who does that like do people really do that do people really go around drinking they homegirls breast milk out they titty that's for the baby that was nasty i don't it was nasty to me and then daisy just starts squirting breast milk all over the windows because they in this fancy apartment all over the windows and um <laughs> chastity is like bitch why you squirt all this milk all over my house <laughs> and then right here i'm like daisy ain't shit daisy ain't shit because on tv on camera, she was like, bitch, this an Airbnb. Why you curl, Why you call your girl out like, <laughs> like that on camera? Like, Daisy ain't shit. I feel like she'll, she'll change on you too, Chastity. Don't get it twisted. It seemed like she would change up on you too because she was like, bitch, this an Airbnb. They'll clean it. Anyway, off of them. So now Jocelyn, because Ballistic did, did tell Jocelyn to just get the girls together, have a nice dinner, talk talk to them let them know about the cabaret again that you expect for them to be ladies so we at this dinner jocelyn walks in she's very disappointed in all the girls jay and lucky get there first and they're like we know you know lucky is apologetic she's like i know you disappointed at us we didn't have to react to them when they came at us we i'm sorry and jay is like bitch i ain't sorry they came for me i reacted so what i got to be sorry about and Lucky is a good friend because she was like, no, we all played our part, but Jay still wasn't having it. And so now Chastity and Daisy come in. Jocelyn's like, I'm disappointed in y'all too, especially you, Daisy. You the bottom bitch. Why you acting like this? And now they get into that same argument again. I ain't gonna go through it. You know, you already know what they arguing about. And <clears throat> it's at this time we started talking about the bottom bitch again. And Lucky was like, as a bottom bitch, if you heard that my apartment was on fire, why, if you supposed to be uplifting us and you supposed to be the leader of a group, why wouldn't you come to me and say, do you need any help? Can I help you out in any way? Don't just throw it in my face that I'm homeless. She was like, you not being a correct bottom bitch. You just being a mean girl. And I agree. And now they argue more and more and more. And then Chastity tells Lucky to shut up because you Ubered here. And then Lucky said exactly what I was thinking. Like, bitch, why you keep talking about Uber? Uber is expensive. And I'm tell you, that shit ain't cheap. If you Uber everywhere, you going to pay two or three car notes in a month. So it's best to go ahead and just get a car. So I agree with Lucky. Like, bitch, why you keep using that as a dig? Uber is expensive. She was like, I'm paying a car note and you over there in a Toyota with no with no registration. You ain't got your tags. And like, bitch, you talking about all this money, you can't get no $100 tag for your car? Chastity? Read these bitches. Somebody still needs to read Daisy ass. Maybe it's coming. Maybe it's coming. Now, Jocelyn says we got to talk about this cabaret. She's still trying to bring it in telling them this is elegant, this is, you know, mysterious, 
you know, it's a different form of sensuality to get this money from these men and y'all acting like bitches. So now chastity, chastity throws out there, but Jay needs a makeover. And now Jay is over it. And I agree, like, leave this bitch alone. She ain't did shit to you. Like, you just met her. I mean, maybe they knew each other from the club, but I was over it too. And now Jay is over it. She's like, I got to go get this money. My trick is waiting on me. He my top dollar trick. And I got to go get this money. Fuck y'all bitches. And Jay leaves. And Jocelyn agrees. She's like, if Jay just wants to be happy and if go getting this money from her trick, making her happy, she got to leave. Jocelyn lets Jay leave. And pretty much in the confessional, Jocelyn is over Daisy and Chastity. And I'm like, I'm over their asses too. And then the episode goes off. And then they preview next week's episode where I feel like they're going to dig. See, look how fast in 20 minutes my hair is in a complete afro. I can't, I can't take it. But anyway, it looks like next week <clears throat> Jocelyn is going to dig more into Jay walking these streets. And Jay really wants to change, and Jocelyn really wants to be there and help her. And I'm really here. I really want to hear that storyline. And next week, Lucky date, Lucky is 23 dating a man that's 51, and we're going to hear some more background about that. I really want to hear that storyline, too. Like, I'm really happy as the weeks are progressing. We're really going to learn a lot more about these ladies, and not just that they strippers, because we all know when most people, when they think of strippers, they have some preconceived notion of that they're hoes, that they don't want to do nothing with their life. They just out here shaking their ass for money. And a lot of people have a lot of negative thoughts about strippers, but everybody is different. We don't, we can't judge people by what they do because you never know. You might've only been one or two um, steps away from doing it yourself. You know, so I don't judge people and I really am just curious like it is ratchet entertainment it is but i am curious about why did you get into this life and i am hap happy jocelyn is taking it from an angle of i want to help you if you want help i want to help you show show you another way of how you can come out of this stripper lifestyle like mona gave her a platform that allowed her to maneuver her way out of it i wish she wouldn't hate mona so much but that's a separate story like whatever happened between jocelyn and mona it is what it is but i wish she would at least acknowledge her for at least giving her the platform to be able to change her life you know but anyway it was a good episode number two i really am here for this show like i said i love jocelyn she is one of my favorite reality stars so whenever you just put her on tv she's going to entertain me and i really just enjoy reviewing this show so y'all get in the comments let me know what y'all thought about episode number two what y'all think about these bitches daisy and chastity y'all can't stand their asses either like they gonna irritate me and um what y'all think about jay and lucky and what's coming up with their storylines I can't wait to get into it. Y'all go ahead, like, share, do all that good stuff. Become a part of the Kiss My Cheeks family. Subscribe, turn the notifications on so you can see when I upload because I will be reviewing the cabaret every week. And y'all go ahead and enjoy y'all Mondays. Y'all might be at work, but it is my day off. But at 5 o'clock, y'all can enjoy the rest of the day too. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good one.